G'day guys, Billy here, well it's next day guys, so I finally found a little bit of time so I can show you all the stuff I found yesterday at the uh, three or four rubbish dumps I visited. So what you can see here guys is just the first section, I've got more, so we'll film this one first and we'll do the next section. So anyway guys, um, also I found a really good old um, farm rubbish dump in, the, in a bush reserve, so anyone can go in there. So I'm going to be uploading that video very shortly. It's probably already uploaded, guys. So just some nice stuff. But anyway, um, let's get on to the stuff I found. So just a old bag, guys. I mean, it's a rip curl surf bag. But these come in handy for um, hiking and so forth. Or when I go walking in the bush, bottle digging and metal detecting, I can put all my finds, relic finds, bottles and coins and so forth in that. Um, so I'll give that bag a wash. Anyway, I found, also found some good food. I won't be eating this stuff. I'll give this stuff to the dogs as treats. Uh, a tin of milk powder. Brand new. I'll definitely be using that one. Got these biscuits. Expired in May this year. But they'll be just dog treats, guys. But anyway, let's get on to the rest of the stuff. So I found a couple of things here. Probably that just for scrap fellas for the brass. Don't know if this one works yet. It's a hose garden sprayer. It's a bit feels a bit funny. A couple of little things here, guys. An old silver um, port uh, glass made out of silver or silver pewter. Uh, just a brass salt and pepper shaker. Couldn't find the other one. This is probably just the bottom of another little um, glass or something like that, possibly, or a statue. The toolbox guys, I'll just keep that for come in handy for something or I'll set up the markets. Found that bag of beautiful shell grip full of all shells. So I've got some in here guys. Also found this old hubcap. It's not embossed so it's nothing special but I'll, I'll sit this hubcap out in my bird feeding area. An old hook guys, nothing special but I love old hooks. I've got some really beautiful old antique hooks but I'll keep that and connect to a piece of chain to find one day. Nice enamel bowl from the same old farm dump I found. I don't know, I'll probably chuck, I'll chuck it out, guys. Um, this beautiful jewellery box, I think it possibly is. It's just a cheapie, guys, made in, made in England. Oh, it's actually made in England. So it looks like it's made out of brass, possibly. Unsure. Some CD discs, guys, for my parrot farm. Oh, sorry, for, for my apricot trees. I hang these off, uh, the apricot trees to the parrots they hate shiny things I've done a couple of videos on that recently another little jewelry type box uh, this thing here guys a beautiful um, bamboo um, one, of them, one of those I've got the actual stick for it too but that's in the other crap what I've got so that's a nice little find uh, this nice drum but I just noticed it's got a rip there but anyway might be able to fix it up or sell it one day. Some oil, some good oil here, guys, for my motor lawnmower and grass cutter. Some sandpaper that always comes in handy. That Australia Post mail box. I've got heaps of these, but they already they come in handy for bottle digging, storing bottles and stuff. A nice brand new shirt from Broome up in the Kimberleys of West Australia. It's a beautiful khaki uh, shirt. I don't know, a couple of girly things there, guys. I'll box them up for the markets dolphin statue here nice old harmonica just a cheapy made in China a little girly thing there a Thai Kwondu badge medallion I'll just chuck that amongst my metal detecting finds another medallion for swimming I think it's got a bronze medallion that one a watch it's just junk guys a nice little ring here I found that amongst all this stuff here Nice chain, so I'm unsure if there's anything special in here, guys, but I don't think that chain's gold, but nice little silver 18th birthday necklace. Just a little badge or a pin. Another nice little carved wooden dolphin. Another little jewellery box type thing here. But an old belt was broken, guys, but I love the old belt buckles, so I'll try that against my metal detecting finds as well. Um... Just a bicycle light in brand new condition. So there's a nice light in there. We're $33, guys. 33 bucks for a beautiful flashing light. Little tile what you hang up on your wall. Uh, this from 1979. I, I think all the kids were given these as kids when they went to school. 
this old history of West Australia. It's a nice little book. A uh, bit of stuff in here, guys. So a little bit of jewellery and so forth. Uh, just a nice little um, throwover, blanket type thing. A couple of mice traps, guys. Mouse traps, they come in handy. I haven't got mice in my house, but they could come in handy one day. A couple of nice trophies. I've got a couple more in the what you'll see in the next section. I don't know, a bit of some at the marks one day, you know. It has got the person's name in on it, but I won't show you the name. That beautiful elephant basket. Uh, a couple of letter writing things here, fellas. Writing letters, so it's a picture frame as well. Um, a lot of it's just junk, guys. Um, a nice light. I haven't tested this to see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll ditch it, snip off the electrical cord. It's a beautiful bowl. I don't think it came with a lid, guys, but that's a nice little find. And that beautiful old basket there. So, not too bad, guys. So, stay tuned. We'll work on the next slot now and make it one big video. And like I say, this video has probably already been uploaded about this beautiful old rubbish dump I found. So anyway guys, let's pack this away and we'll do the next slot. So I'm just going to put this grid here for any birds they might want it for to nibble on and stuff. It's good for their beaks and stuff, digestive system and everything else. And I'll grab a handful for my pet magpie. Scrapper's just over there having a feed. Talking, trying to talk, so I'll just sprinkle a little bit here for him, see what he does with it, guys. Scrapper. <laughs> and just here are some my enamel uh, pots and so forth, guys. So. I'm saving these up so I can grow, I'm trying to learn how to grow cactuses, I've only got a couple of species at the moment so I'll grow some really nice cactuses and when I do I can sell them at the markets and so forth in the beautiful enamel pots and everything guys because these are really really popular in Australia, the old enamel ware, especially with plants in them. I also found this beautiful old box as you saw at the beginning guys so I reckon it's definitely probably from the 1970s, uh, possibly 80s, late 60s, who knows, but it's definitely a beautiful old wax coated box. So what I'm going to do is snip around the sides and cut out this beautiful picture here on both sides. And I'll, um, yeah, it's collectible guys, everything's collectible. You should know that if you're into relic hunting and trash and treasure. And I'll cut it out and put it in this box that I'm packing up now. I've just packed up a box here and another box there full of stuff. And I'm just going to make sure it's all nice and safe. And yeah, so I'll cut that out, guys, and chuck it in the box as well. Hello, so I've just sorted out the rest of the junk I found. So I just want to say, guys, if you do this stuff, just got to be really, really careful of hoarding stuff. That was one of my worst habits a few years ago. You know, you look at this stuff and a lot of it's just junk. So I've just got to be really, really careful of bringing crap home. My whole front yard, guys, in the... You know, a couple of years ago it was absolutely horrible, and especially in my sheds. Even now they're still chock-a-block full, guys. So I spent about a month sorting, boxing stuff up, and I did a few big rubbish runs. I did about bloody 12 big rubbish dump runs with uh, my trailer and truck chock-a-block full of junk. So I've got that video coming up shortly, guys. I just need to finish it off. So anyway... Like I say, just be careful of hoarding, guys. It can get really addictive, and some of the stuff you can end up bringing home is just useless stuff that you'll never use, like as the stuff what you can see right here. You know, so I've just got to be very careful, like I say, of hoarding. It's a really dangerous addiction to get into. But anyway, guys, let's show you what I found. So just some cat food for my cat. It's always good to find free cat food. I find so much free food, fellas. It's amazing. Um, a nice dog blanket, I'll give you that a wash in a minute, some beautiful books here guys, exactly what I needed. So it's nice native gardening books here, for gardening, vegetable growing, uh, West Australian uh, native plants, a nice book here, The Reader's Digest, a complete book of gardening. This is a beautiful book here, brand new, The Art of Donald Bradman. Donald Bradman is uh, one of the most famous ever cricket players in Australia guys. I used to have a huge collection of 
I'm absolutely amazing. Donald uh, Bradman cigarette cards. I sold five of them once for a thousand dollars on eBay, but I've sold most of them now. Some of them are extremely, extremely rare. That's how popular he is. So he's a champion cricket player. He's passed away now, probably about ten years ago. So that's a nice find, especially for cricket fans. So I'll definitely sell that one day for a good price. Another good thing for me for metal detecting guys. Australian coins and banknotes. Uh, this cookbook here, cookbooks are always really popular to sell at markets. Just a nice hat. That doesn't fit me, but sell it at the markets one day for a dollar or something. Something interesting, world mythology, nice book. Uh, Mysteries of the Unexplained, that's a, another interesting book. This one's quite old, probably 19, probably definitely early 1960s I reckon. So I'm not into space guys, space is fake. The earth is flat, but I just picked that up so I can have a good look at that later. I might even do a video on it. And also, guys, this brings like a heap of memories. Back in 1988, I was about 16. I went to a boarding school in Narragin. And I kept this diary, exactly this diary, the Bicentennial Diary. It's, I'll find it, fellas, soon. I'll do a good video on it. Every single entry is full of all my diary entries from when I was 16. And it's got heaps of poems I wrote and photos of all the girls that I had crushes on. Heaps of photos of beautiful, you know, girls what, what I had these massive crushes on. It's all been autographed by all my friends at school. So much more stuff, guys. It's all beautiful, full of all my diary entries. So my complete diary, I've got quite a few diaries. I don't keep them anymore, but I'll find it, guys. It's in my shed amongst... A heap of love letters from a beautiful girl I once knew. Um, so I'll put the video link below to that girl I'm talking about, guys. Anyway, just an old esky needs a clean up, guys. I don't know, I might keep it. Could come in handy for when I'm travelling and stuff. Beautiful canvas backpack, guys. Brand new. All that. $50 it costs. Brand new. Bird seed once again for my bird feeding area. These are nice to find. A nice old clay pot. I've got a good collection of those. Once again for growing cactuses. Cast iron pan, guys. I thought I'd found more than one, but they turned out to be aluminium. But they, that's a nice find I can sell in the markets. Beautiful little old retro aluminium um, storing container. For, I don't know, you know, for camping and stuff. That there, just a little thing for storing paperwork. I'll box it away. Just an old canvas chair here, guys, once again for camping. A couple of nice frames. And a trophy here, guys. I won't show you the name, but it's a beautiful go-kart or karting trophy. It's really heavy, too, so that's something nice. I'll definitely be able to sell one day at the markets. So I found about three trophies. I left about ten behind. Some old salt and pepper shakers, guys. I don't know. I'll chuck them in the box and maybe sell them one day at the markets. And here's just a... The other ones I thought were cast iron, but they're aluminium. So just for the scrap bucket, guys, all of these ones. I don't know about that. I'll probably chuck that in the scrap bucket as well. Give it a clean. I might be able to sell it at the market. It's a beautiful old 1960s pot. All right, guys. So we'll get over here. A couple of these, like I said in the video, for my composting to store over 44-gallon drums. Not like this one, but the metal ones. But once again, I could use it for covering those, but also for composting, worm farms, covering up worm farms. That nice chair I found, I put that in the back of the garden and put a pot plant or something on it. Scrapping guys, nice air conditioner here for the copper and aluminium radiator, so it's full of good copper that. Electrical cord, a battery, a motor, just one stainless steel pan to scrap guys. A little few pieces of scrap here, what I got, a bit of brass and cast aluminium. Some good extrusion aluminium right here guys, it's worth about $1.50 a kilo. Aluminium bike that I'll take apart for scrap and a TV aerial. And here's that beautiful old bike I found guys, it's got no markings on it. I don't know, maybe someone can help me identify it. But I'll pack that away, but like I say guys, it's so easy to start hoarding stuff. Got to be really, really careful. Here's all my scrap hoard. So all my scrap hoard, guys. So just got to be really careful of hoarding stuff. Like I say, look at all the crap I've got here. This is just one tiny section, guys. I've got three other big sheds. Bloody 
bikes, old bikes there, all my batteries, gas bottles, more bottles here. We've got about 3,000 body bottles and jars stored at a mate's farm. All my good scraps in here, brass, copper and everything, but this is all my good valuable scrap here guys, aluminium, stainless steel and brass. So this is my driveway, I used to be able to drive my truck in here guys, not for a long time. Other stuff, nice old sign, farm relics, toolboxes, just junk. Like I say guys, I've got three sheds and they're all chock-a-block full of crap. So it's just got to be careful of hoarding guys, like I say, I did a massive clean up at the beginning of this year and the last thing I want to do is just, you know, continue or get back into the routine of hoarding stuff. Yeah, because it gets overwhelming guys. My house is nice and clean, don't worry inside, it's beautiful inside, but just it's a bad habit to get into. So just be careful guys if you do the same type of uh, scrapping and treasure hunting, relic hunting, uh, trash and treasure because as a lot of you people know it can get absolutely overwhelming and addictive and also guys it's a couple of those nice um, succulent species what I've got there they're sitting in a bucket of water at the moment. Alright guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video and we'll chat soon have a good night wherever you are in the world guys see ya time to box all this stuff up so i've got one box here full of stuff and i'm working on this one at the moment so we'll box all this stuff up in a couple of boxes guys and pack them away until i'm about 70 and then we'll start selling crap so i can survive in today's ripoff society guys you know how hard it is just to put food on your table these days all right guys see ya found these uh, plants yesterday guys in a rubbish dump so I'm going to replant these, repot them and uh, yeah well that's one of the jobs I'm going to do today also I want to try and make a couple of uh, new some new or more bat boxes or fascavale boxes but probably I'll turn those into bat boxes I've got a couple of bat homes up here what I made a few days ago so no sign of activity yet guys, but anyway, it's not going to happen overnight. And that bowl I've just put over in my bird area guys, and some nice native uh, water grass. So we'll put it there for the time being, until I get sick of it, I'll probably move it somewhere. It looks pretty good there guys. Alright, see you fellas.